Hey everyone, I'm Shalisa. And I'm Hannah. And we're Wonderfix. Wonder and today Shalisa is going to teach you how to buy a ticket on the CoRail app. To buy a ticket with the CoRail app, you must have an alien registration card and number, a phone number, and a Korean bank account and bank card. When you first open the app, this message will appear. Just go ahead and push the OK button. On the main screen, there's two buttons we're going to talk about. First, on the left, the blue button is for searching and purchasing tickets. The green button on the right is for viewing and canceling tickets. After pushing the blue button, you'll see the search screen. Don't worry about the first option. The second one, after pushing it, you'll see different train types. You can choose the KTX, the high-speed train, the ITX, a mid-range train, or the Mugunghwa, the slowest train. If you're not sure exactly which type of train you would like to take, it's better to just not fill this one out, and it'll show you all the different train types. And the third option down is date and time of departure. The next item down is departure station. Unfortunately, it is only in Korean. If you don't know how to write one of the cities in Korean, you can Google Translate it. And the option below that is the arrival station. Next are seat options. The first row shows forward or back facing seats. Below that, aisle or window seats. The final option are seats with special functions. After you make your selections, on the bottom, the left button is OK or accept, and the right button is cancel. The last menu on the screen is to select how many tickets you would like to purchase. The top option is for adults, so you can click on it and choose how many tickets you would like, and at the bottom, the right button is OK or accept. After you've filled in the options, click the bottom blue button to search. Here you'll see a list of train options. On the left, you'll see the kind of train that it is. Next to that, the departure and arrival times. And on the right, you'll see whether or not tickets are available. If it is green, that means yes, there are tickets available. If it's red, it means you cannot purchase tickets on the app. If it has a percentage by it, that means there's only a limited number of tickets available. Once you've selected the train you would like to take, go ahead and click on it. Here you'll see details for the train that you selected. At the bottom, there are three buttons. The right button shows you all of the stops that the train makes and at what times it will arrive and depart from each station. The center button shows you prices for standard class, first class, and standing room only. And the left button is to purchase the tickets. After selecting the purchase button, you'll go to a login screen. If you have an account with CoRail, you can go ahead and enter that information there. If not, you'll need to click the green tab on the top right. Here, you need to enter in your name, your Korean cell phone number, a five-digit secret PIN number, and then repeat the PIN number one more time. After you complete this, push the login button on the bottom of the screen. Then an announcement will pop up and show your name and your phone number. If it is correct, you can push the left accept button. If it is not correct, push the right cancel button. On the next screen, you choose which class you would like your seats to be in. In the center is standard class, and to the left is first class seats. Once you click the button for either standard or first class, two buttons will appear at the bottom. The button on the left is to choose your seats in the train. A screen will appear and you can choose the car and the exact seat that you will be sitting in. After you choose your seats, another announcement may pop on the screen. Just go ahead and push the OK button at the bottom. And then you'll be at the payment screen. Check over the train and passenger information, and after you verify that it is correct, you can click the purchase button at the bottom of the screen. There will be a button on the screen to pay with a card. Go ahead and click that. And then you'll enter in your card information. On the first line, you'll enter in the card number. The next line is the expiration date of your card. Next is the first two of your PIN number. The next one, leave it clicked where it is. Next option down, you'll enter in the first six digits of your ARC number. And the last option, leave it how it is. Now at the bottom of the screen there are two buttons. The button on the left will clear out the entire field, and the button on the right is to accept the card information. After accepting the card information, another announcement will pop up on the screen. Just go ahead and push OK. And then your tickets will load on the screen. If you have multiple tickets, you can scroll down to see more information, and the car and seat numbers will be listed on the tickets. Now to later view or cancel your tickets, you'll go to the main menu and click the green button. If you haven't logged in in some time, you may be asked to log in again. You use the same information you used when you purchased the tickets. After you are logged in, 
You will push the top option to view tickets and you'll be able to see the tickets there. If you would like to cancel your tickets, you'll push the big blue button at the bottom and on the next screen select the tickets that you would like to cancel. Then again push the blue button on the bottom of the screen and your tickets will be cancelled. And there we have it, Shalisa is the queen of co-rails. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching! If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to follow us along on the rest of our journey and to see more tutorials like this that we're going to do.